Well, welcome back. This is day four of our investigation of gravity. And today what we're going to learn about is how gravity relates to something called weight. Now, you have used the word weight before, um, and sometimes maybe you've mixed it up with a mass. We've talked about mass. Uh, I want to remind you that mass is how much stuff is it packed inside matter, how much stuff is in there. And that stuff is atoms, right? How much stuff is in there? How, many, how uh, densely packed does an object have atoms? So that's mass. Now, weight, though, is the force of gravity pulling down on something. So whenever you step on the scales and you want to know what your weight is, you're really finding out how much gravity is pulling you down toward the center of the Earth. Um, that's what weight is. So today what we're going to look at is, is weight the same? Is your weight the same on other planets? Which would mean, if it is, that means then gravity is the same on every planet. So that's what we're going to find out. Over here, I have a link to a website called Your Weight on Other Worlds. And what I'd like you to do is type in your weight, or you can find uh, the weight of uh, uh, some of famous actor or actress and find out what they would weigh on other planets. I have over here Chris Helmsworth, who plays Thor in the Marvel movies. Um, he weighed 215 pounds while um, filming those, so that's what I'm going to use today. So I'm clicking on that link. Your weight on other worlds. Here we go. And there you go. Over here in the center box is where you're going to type in the weight. So I'm going to put 215 pounds there. 215 for Chris Helmsworth. Calculating. And as soon as you hit calculate, then you can scroll down here and you're going to see what Chris Helmsworth, the god of Thor, uh, Thor the god of thunder, you see that right? Um, what he would weigh on different planets. So over here um, on our moon, he would weigh 35 pounds. On Jupiter, 543.5 pounds. On Pluto, the dwarf planet Pluto, 14 pounds. Notice that he would weigh less on Pluto than he would on our moon. That's because Pluto is even smaller than our moon. Uh, let's see here. Mercury, 81 pounds. These right here are moons of Jupiter, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. These um, are not the only moons of Jupiter. Jupiter has um, over 60 moons that we know of. Um, the sun, check this out, the sun of uh, our solar system, Thor would weigh 5,820 pounds. Um, white dwarfs, which are very densely packed, uh, they have a lot of gravity. Uh, force there, neutron stars, check these out. Um, how much Thor would weigh on those planets. Crazy. And then down here below it has some information about it. So think about this. Where does Thor weigh, weigh the most? He weighs the most on, of, of the planets. He weighs the most on Jupiter. And that's because Jupiter is the largest planet. Okay? It has the most mass and therefore the most gravity force too to pull him down on it. And then when you look over here of all the planets, Pluto is where he has he's the least. And if you look at where which one is which of these planets is closest to what Thor weighs on Earth, 215 pounds is what he weighed on Earth. Here it is right here, Saturn. Saturn um, is close, the closest. It's about 15 pounds off there. So isn't that interesting? Even though Saturn is a giant gas giant, it's uh, it's, it doesn't have uh, as much density, and so actually the planet Saturn would float in a bathtub if you could find a bathtub big enough. Um, so now, when we go back to our presentation for today, I have over here gravity weight form. Okay, so you're going to use that information from the website, and feel free to click back and forth to answer these questions. But these questions are ones we just talked about. On which of the nine planets do you weigh the least? On which of the nine planets do you weigh the most? And so when you're going through here and answering these questions, I want you to see that gravity force is different on all the planets. And the more mass, the larger the planet is, the more gravity it has. The less mass a planet has, the less gravity it has. So poor little Pluto, the tiny little dwarf planet, um, doesn't have much gravity there. 
And then at the bottom, tell me how everything's going. All right. Thank you for listening. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.